Welcome friends. In this video, we will see stereochemistry in that conformation of cyclohexane. Conformation of cyclohexane. First, we will see introduction. Number of momentary arrangement of atoms of a molecule in space resulting due to rotation about carbon-carbon single bond or flipping of cyclic molecules are called conformers of the molecule and the phenomenon is known as conformational isomerism. The number of conformation of cycloalkane are limited because of restricted rotation of carbon-carbon bond axis of ring. Cycloalkane exists in two non-planar Packard conformation known as chair form and boat form. First we will see chair conformation. In this conformation, 4 carbon C2, C3, C5, C6 atoms are coplanar. The fifth carbon atom, that means C1, is above the plane. The sixth carbon, that means C4 atom, is below the plane. This three dimensional structure looks like an easy chair. And hence, it is called as chair conformation. Each carbon in this conformation has two types of CH bonds and hydrogen atoms are found. And they are first axial CH bond and second equatorial CH bond. First, we will see axial CH bond. They are directed straight up or straight down the place of ring. Now, let us see the structure of chair conformation. In that, axial CH bonds are straight up or straight down the place of ring. It lies nearly parallel to the axis of symmetry. The hydrogen joined by axial bond is called axial hydrogen. Next, we will see equatorial CH bond. Now let us see the structure of chair conformation. Equatorial CH bond are pointed off the side. Let us see. They lie nearly perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. The hydrogen joined by equatorial bond is called equatorial hydrogen. Now friends, let us see the structure of chair conformation. The six axial hydrogen alternatively project down and above the plane of the ring. While the six equatorial hydrogen from a belt around the ring. Now we will see both conformation. Four carbon atoms that means C2, C3, C5, C6 lie in one plane. And the remaining two carbon atoms, C1 and C4, are in a plane parallel to the first plane. This three-dimensional structure looks like a boat and hence it is called as boat conformation. In boat conformation, four types of CH bonds and hydrogen atoms are found. Now let us see the four types. First of all, we will see the structure of boat conformation. The two CH bonds coming towards two CH bonds coming towards each other on C1 and C4 are called black pole hydrogen bonds. And the hydrogen atoms are called black pole hydrogen. Distance between them is only 1.83 angstrom. Two CH bonds on two CH bonds on C1 and C4 that are far apart are called bow split bonds, and the hydrogen atoms are called bow split hydrogens. 
the four CH bonds on these four CH bonds on C2, C3, C5, C6 atoms which from the sides of the both are called quasi axial bonds. They are almost parallel to the axis. The remaining four CH bonds on C2, C3, C5 and C6 atoms are called quasi equatorial bonds. Now friends, next we will see two more boat forms namely skew or twist boat conformation of cyclohexane are identified. These are twist boat forms. Twist boat conformation is obtained by twisting the boat conformer halfway. Based on the direction of twisting, we get skew boat first and skew boat second conformers. In the first conformer, C2 and C5 have gone down. Why? In the second conformer, C3 and C6 have gone down. The half chair form is highly unstable transition state species. Let us see the half chair conformation. This half chair form is highly unstable transition state species. So, cannot be considered as a conformer as such. Thank you. For more game videos, subscribe my channel.